So why are we here tonight? We are here tonight because these combat veterans and the parents of Navy SEAL Aaron Fawn think we need a new commander in chief. I want to talk to you a little bit about our next speaker. Uh, this is Colonel Ron Birchall. And Ron was drafted into the Army in 67 while actually playing professional baseball uh, with the Houston Astros. Uh, he completed infantry OCS. He was commissioned a second lieutenant. And he was originally supposed to go to Vietnam, but he wound up going to North Korea or Korea at the DMZ because of the Pueblo was attacked and captured. And uh, because of that incident, he was on the DMZ in an area of intense fire where there was there were high casualties. Uh, uh, later in 1972, he was transitioned to special forces and uh, earned his green beret. I am honored to, to be able to share with you some of the reasons that I believe that Mitt Romney needs to be the next president of the United States and also the next, which of course means the next commander in chief. Absolutely. I believe in the Constitution. Forty-five years later, today, I still believe in that oath, and I still believe in the Constitution with all my heart. I truly believe that Mitt Romney believes in the Constitution of the United States of America. I honestly don't know about the other candidate. I won't even mention his name. <laughs> Let me tell you some of the things I, I believe in that I in sync with, with Mr. Romney. I believe in immigration reform with sealed borders, with swift justice for those who break the rules. I believe in a strong working middle class, free to follow their dreams and work just as hard as they want to work to achieve whatever level they want to achieve, free to do that without government intervention. I believe in achieving energy independence right here at home using the natural resources that we have efficiently until green technology can provide the uh, alternate sources of energy we need in the future. I believe in the pipeline, folks. <laughs> Duh, I mean, what? <laughs> free enterprise has to work. It has to be free to work. It will work, not government. Free enterprise is the key to success. <laughs> we cannot make the weak stronger by making the strong weaker. Amen. Unfortunately, there are people out there that want to kill us, no matter what we say and what we do. Sitting around the campfire, holding hands, singing Kumbaya, <laughs> appeasement, apology, all that does is display weakness. Tom Washkowitz um, was a member of the Studies and Observation Group. Now, to those of you who don't know that, it sounds like a library research organization. But what they did was they, they, they studied and observed the North Vietnamese and the Viet Cong going through the jungles down the Ho Chi Minh Trail into Laos. They were, they were a top secret organization that were inserted behind enemy lines. And they had some of the highest fatalities of any any group in Vietnam. Later, later they became uh, they were incorporated into the special forces. But the studies of the SOG teams were uh, in in tremendous danger the entire time they were there. Uh, Tom has got uh, the Vietnamese cross for gallantry, which I can't read because it's in Vietnamese. Um, he has the bronze star. I just returned from uh, a convention last week of the Special Operations Association in Las Vegas. My buddy Bill Barclay was there with me. And uh, we had about 300 uh, members there, all former Army Green Berets, Air Commandos, and Navy SEALs who've served in covert, uh, top secret combat operations in denied, uh, and denied enemy held territory. Um, I can tell you about all the things that they talked about and complained about and why they were voting for Mitt Romney. The convention last week, I had the opportunity to have lunch and the honor to have lunch with uh, Roger Donlin. Some of you might remember he was the f first Medal of Honor recipient in the Vietnam War. And uh, during lunch, he happened to mention 
that he and a bunch of other Medal of Honor recipients are working very hard for Mitt Romney. Right now, 49 former Medal of Honor recipients have signed on to work for Mitt Romney. We've got an absolute tragedy in our national foreign policy. We have the Middle East in turmoil, and we have a media, the Associated Press, ABC, NBC, the New York Times, the print media that are in the tank for Obama. We have a lapdog, lapdog media that isn't even reporting on the, this tremendous national disgrace we have right now that has been going on in Benghazi. Our president needs to man up. He needs to tell the truth. He, need, <laughs> he needs to release the uh, details on that Benghazi tragedy. You know, the only thing that he's been good for is a couple of slogans. Hope and change and forward. And they're pretty good. Because we all hope there's going to be a change November 6th, and we look forward to Mitt Romney being our next president. <laughs>